Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. And today we are at Beamish Museum, as you may have guessed. It is in between Christmas and New Year, so the Christmas decorations are still up. I didn't get to come before Christmas because of weather and because of ticket situations. I missed out on getting the tickets. They sell out real fast. But anyhow, my annual pass lets me in on today, so today is kind of a normal day. But uh, let's have a look at the vintage Christmas decorations. And here we are on one of the vintage buses. I decided to catch the bus today, just because, like, why not? And uh, I'm just going to get off a little bit further down the road at Pockley Hall, where apparently they have 12 night celebrations on. So uh, hopefully we'll catch something good there. And don't forget, kids, there's no smoking allowed. Also, spitting is prohibited. That's it, we did it. Huge journey on the bus. Yep, I could have walked it in less time than I waited for the bus to go, but watch the fun in that. So we've come to Pockley Hall to see if there's anything going on here. I've been told there's 12 nights of Christmas celebrations going on. So far though, I am the only person to be walking up the hill towards old Pockley Hall. Yeah. However, the museum has just opened at 10 o'clock and I got here for 10 o'clock, so I am one of the first guests in.
well done. Yeah, I'm allergic to nuts. Hello. Morning. Morning. Merry Christmas. Nice to you. Wow, I can smell, still smell the uh, fire smoke on me there. That was awesome. Great music. And that was the 12th night of Christmas celebrations going on at Old Potley Hall, which is uh, based in the Georgian era. I'm gonna head down now, back to the road and see if I can catch a bus or a tram and go down to uh, the old town, Beamish Old Town. Actually, I'm gonna go at the 1950s hall and see if there's anything going on in 1950s hall first. Then we'll have a look to see and have an update on the 1950s town construction that's going on. That should be open later on next year. It's weird saying that because it's next year in a couple of days time. And here comes my lift to the 1950s area, which isn't too far away, but when you get a chance to ride on an old bus like this, why not? I feel sorry for the driver of this bus because he is outside in the elements, come rain or shine. I was the only passenger on that uh, bus. Cool. So we're here at the 1950s Welfare Hall and Community Centre and there are lights all over the, the fence here, but unfortunately they're not lit up because it is still light at the moment. This shed wasn't here the last time we came. And we have some old football boots on the table, getting repaired and waxed. We've got a pump for the football, places to get changed. Oh, I like them shoes. That's just the type of shoes that I would wear. And here we have the half football pitch that's set up. It's a little bit muddy, or as we say around these areas, clarty. So I'll not be going any further, but we have footballs to kick and nets to score goals in. It's been a minute since I've been here, so this is all newly opened since the last time we were here. Uh, I think it was September the last time we were here just before we went to Florida. Ooh, they do have pantomimes on in January. 
at 11, 1 and 2.30. Pre-booking required and it is a £2 entry. I have never been through this area. Why have I never been through here? It's like a doctor's office. Just lay down, the doctor will see you now. So this miniature golf area had just opened up the last time we came down in September. I've not had a try of it yet. I think you do have to pay to hire the, the putters. But this is all new since last time we were here. So we have a, a 1950s style park. Funny enough, I was born in the 70s and I still remember parks like this. That's because the lasted <laughs> so let's go have a look at the construction for the 1950s town uh, from what I can see at the moment there is a lot more houses built or been built since the last time we were here let's have a look just peeking through the construction fence here this is all still getting worked on obviously that's the shops which we've already been to these are the houses that we've already seen and the just seem to be getting finished off a lot more since the last time we were here. But, don't know what this is going to be, possibly Bowling Greens by the looks of it. If we walk down here to an area which was blocked off the last time we were here, you can see there is construction here too. So just guessing, that looks to me like it is a school. So this could be a 1950s style school. And if that's the case, this may not be Bowling Greens. This could be the playground for the school. I don't know. We will have to see. Okay, I stand corrected. Let me have a look. This is definitely going to be a Bowling Green. So I was correct about that. That's going to be all turf with lovely flat grass. This is the Bowling Pavilion. And the building at the back, which I thought was going to be like a 1950s style school, is actually going to be the mining cottages. Half of which are going to be open to the public, and the other half are going to be for dementia patients who are in care for dementia to come down and uh, have respite and things like that here. So that's that. Uh, this area here is going to be a cinema and she said something else hmm can't remember else but it's going to be a 1950s cinema and that's going to be all built on this area here obviously the construction hasn't started on that yet but the 1950s houses are virtually completed looks like some kids have been out and playing with the footballs let's see if i can score a goal and i hit the post typical so we've had a quick, short walk down to the 1950s area where the hairdresser, sweetie shop, some of the houses and uh, the fish and chip shop is here. Uh, 
That uh, one bedroom flat is still available to let. Tempted. Anywho, it's good to see that the 1950s fish and chip shop has been taken over by somebody else. So it is back up and running. So if you want 1950s fish and chips, very nice. The nicest ones here at Beamish. Everybody raves about the ones that's in the coal fired fryers in the, the goose fat. I prefer these, I really do. And just because I had to get a Russell Corsa Sunday. Look at that bad boy. And a Coke. And the rain has started again here at Beamish. I thought I'd missed it. Never mind. Anywho, fun fact, that was a Russell Corsa ice cream sundae. And I was the first member of the public to actually get served one. Point this out every Christmas. Have a look at the old style way of spelling Merry. So yes, as I was saying, I came here for opening day of the 1950s um, street and I was the first person to get served one of those signature Sundays. So yeah, I was the very first one. So I've jumped on board a tram and I'm going to head back up the way that I came because I believe, but I could be wrong, that there's an elf trail that runs between Pockley Hall and the mining village. Uh, there was last year, hopefully there will be this year. So we'll have a quick stop off there and have a check out and then we'll go into the mining village and see what decorations are going on there.
And there goes the tram I've just been on. One of the more iconic things here at Beamish. Now I'm just going to head up this way and use my shortcut to the right here, which takes you through to the mining village. And by the looks of it, the elf trail seems to be there because I can see the lights already. So on this sign it says the pit village and colliery. On that sign it says the colliery village. You can say pit village, colliery village or mining village. All means the same thing. They're not showing up very well on this camera, but there is a trail of lights through here, which would look fantastic as the lights go down, but unfortunately I won't be here then. Now let's have a look out for these pesky elves, eh? Please, do not disturb the elves. Some very dramatic music playing. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the mic. But we have found the elves. I wonder which one's in charge of elf and safety. Elf and safety. Because <laughs> that don't look too safe. Can you spot all the elves? Elfie fish and chips. So all you folks that put your Christmas trees up before December, where Santa kills an, kills an elf, this is where they end up, the elf graveyard. Beamish Elfementary School. You're doing it wrong, Mr. Elf. You need to be standing on the bridge, not hanging below it. Again, Elf and Safety will be after you. There must be a Weatherspoons pub around here somewhere because uh, to get to the toilet, you have to go up that tree, out that door, cross that bridge, in that door where it says WC, no trolls. Just like Weatherspoons, having to climb all them stairs. Every Weatherspoons in the country, you have to climb like an Everest amount of stairs. In fact, I was wrong. You don't go that way. You literally climb the Weatherspoon stairs to get to the Weatherspoons toilet. <laughs> So there you have it, that is the Elf Trail. I'm gonna continue on through the Colliery Village and uh, head up to the farm before grabbing a tram or a bus to go back up to the car park.
last time we came here, there were a couple of big fat turkeys in this uh, enclosure. And the enclosure's empty. There are chickens over there, but no turkeys. Just after Christmas. They're just on holiday, they're having a break. Yeah, they're having a break. everyone the turkeys are safe they are alive and well they did not end up as Christmas dinner for somebody they didn't behave themselves in the small garden down there so when the 1950s farm opened they got moved to there to a bigger enclosure so all good the turkeys are alive well I think that just about does it for Beamish today I'm gonna to wait in this lovely bus shelter and wait for either a tram or a bus to take me back up to the main entrance and uh, I'll sign out up there. And here is my steed heading up the bank. I have not been on this bus before. I shall give it a quick hail, a quick wave of the hand and uh, it should stop for me. So there you have it, that was our little visit to Beamish Museum for the 12th night of Christmas celebrations. I know it's not the 12th night of Christmas until the 6th of January, but they're holding it every day from now up until the 6th of January. Uh, it's all included in your general park admission, as well as all the, uh, the transportation is all included. So why not come down, have a look around, buy some ice cream. So on that, I shall see you all tomorrow. Now it's time to do your job. The camper bus is looking lonely, all by itself in the coach parking. That's right. It's that big, it gets put in the coach parking. And all the cars are all up there. It's very own car park. <laughs> 